Welcome to Access Practice 4. To begin, open Access. Under Open, select the database, your last name, your first name, Access Practice 3. You may need to browse to your flash drive or another location that you saved this database to. In Backstage View, select Save As and save the database as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore access, underscore practice 4. Ensure the database is saved on your flash drive or another safe location. If necessary, select Enable Content to show all of the database content. Ensure the navigation pane is open and all database objects are displayed. On the Create tab in the Forms grouping, notice there are several options to create a form. In the Navigation, select, but do not open, the Faculty table. On the Create tab in the Forms group, click Form. Notice how a new form named Faculty is created with all of the fields from the Faculty table. This is the quickest and easiest way to create a form. Notice the Forms Layout Tools tab with three sub-tabs, Design, Arrange, and Format. On the Design tab, in the Views group, select the arrow under View and select Form View. Near the bottom of the page where the record, count, and scroll displays, select the icon to add a new record. Enter in data for the faculty ID, last name, first name, email, and division. You can make up any data for this. Save and close the faculty form. In the navigation pane, double-click the faculty form to open it. Notice that it opens in form view. Near the bottom of the page, use the arrows to scroll through the records to find the record you just added. On the Home tab in the Views group, change the view to Layout view. Notice how the Form Layout toolbar appears. On the Design tab in the Themes group, select Themes. Select the Office theme and then change the colors to blue. Under Fonts, change the font to Arial. On the Arrange tab, select the Division label. This is an unbound label. In the Move group, select Move Up one time. Notice how the division label moves above the email. Select the text box that was next to the division label. It should say Business. This is a bound control text box. Select Move Up one time to move this bound control next to the division label. Next to the Faculty ID label, select the text box that displays 1. On the Form Layout Tools tab under Design in the Tools group, select Property Sheet. The Property Sheet will open on the right-hand side of your screen. Notice how the selection type shows the text box. On the Data tab under Control Source, Faculty displays that represents the Faculty table. On the Format tab in the Property Sheet, ensure the format displays as general. Close the Property Sheet. Save and close the Faculty form. If prompted, save changes to both the form and the table. On the Create tab in the Forms group, select Form Wizard. In the Form Wizard dialog box, under Tables, Queries, ensure the Table Students displays. Select all fields from the Students table by clicking the double arrows to move the available fields to the selected fields. Select Next. Select the Columnar format for the form and select Next. Ensure the title of your form is Students and then open the form to view or enter information. Select Finish. Notice that the Students form opens in Form View. Use the search function or scroll through the records in the form to find student ID 15037, Emily Martinez. In the Last Name field, change her last name to Bezos. Change the graduation year from 2021 to 2020 and check the scholarship box to indicate yes, this student has a scholarship. On the Home tab in the Views group, change the view of the student's table to Design View. Notice the toolbar Form Design Tools displays with three tabs, Design, Arrange, and Format. On the Design tab, select the Office theme and change the colors to blue. In Design View, there are several form sections. Take a moment to view the following sections of the form. On the Format Design Tools Design tab, under Controls, select the arrow next to Insert Image and select Browse. 
navigate to where your data files are stored and insert the image titled Access Practice 4. Insert the image into the form header. In the form header, select the label that says Students. You can delete it by first selecting the label and then pressing the Delete key on your keyboard. You can also right-click on the label and then select Delete. Center the image in the form header. Use the ruler at the top of the page to help guide you as you center the image within the form header. Change the view of the form to Form View and view the changes you made. Then, change the form to Layout View. In Layout View, on the Form Layout Tools Design tab in the header Footer Group, select Date and Time. In the Date and Time dialog box, check the box for Include Date and Include Time and choose the first option under both. Select OK. Notice how the current date and time displays in the upper right-hand corner of the form. Change the view of the student's form to Design View. On the Format Design Tools, Design tab, in the Tools group, turn on the Property Sheet. Select the Scholarship level. Change the text of the label to read Scholarship Awarded, and resize the label if necessary. To precisely change the height and width of the label, use the Property Sheet, Format tab to type in the width and the height. Select the email label and change the text to read email address. Resize the label if necessary to ensure all of the data is visible. Click the line below the form footer and drag down to create space in the form footer. You will only need to add about an inch of space. On the form design tools toolbar, on the design tab, in the controls group, select label. Click or draw to add a label in the form footer. Inside the label, type PVCC Pumas. Right-click inside the label and choose any fill color. And choose any font for color. Save and close the student's form. Ensure all database objects are closed and the navigation pane is open and displays all access objects. Take a moment to verify you have the following database objects in your database. To exit out of the database, First, close any database objects that are open. Select the File tab and make note of where your database is saved. Then, select Close. Then, exit out of Access. Submit your entire database for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.